welcome to Storytime for Kids. I'm Mrs. McCurley, and today we're going to read an important story on the topic of bullying. This story helps us learn how to be more compassionate and a better friend, and it's based on a true story that we'll hear about at the end of this short picture book. Let's get started. My Friend Clot, written by Jason Kendall and illustrated by Miriam Kendall. Say hello to Clyde. He's the boy about to go down that big red slide. Clyde loves having fun, playing outside in the sun. He also loves playing in the park and watching movies in the dark. Playing make-believe is what Clyde loves most. Sometimes he pretends to be an astronaut or a scary ghost. Clyde also loves going on adventures in his very own time machine. Vroom! <laughs> off he goes by jumping off the red trampoline. Although it does not always show, it's harder for Clyde to learn and no. In school he has trouble doing math and making up a rhyme, so please do not make fun of Clyde if he's having a hard time. Clyde often confuses his words when he speaks. He also has a hard time remembering the alphabet and the days of the week. Clyde also forgets the names of the different animals at the zoo and when it comes to shapes and colors, he'll often mix up one or two. It takes Clyde longer to read and to write, so some of the kids at school are mean and impolite. Whenever the kids tease Clyde, it makes him feel very sad. When he gets home, well, he cries to his mom and his dad. Clyde, his parents always say, we love you and promise everything will be okay. You may learn differently, but you're very smart. You're also funny, nice, and have a kind heart. True friends will like you for who you are. Be yourself, and you will go far. Clyde knows that his parents are right, but still, he plays alone. Why not be a friend to Clyde and invite him into your home? Did you know Clyde loves to share and loves to play? And just like you, he's unique and talented in his very own way. Clyde loves basketball, arts and crafts, and swimming too. Just ask and he would be glad to play with you. How about you? Do you like doing those things too? If you take a closer look, you'll learn a lesson or two from this book. A lot of people learn differently just like Clyde. It's nothing to be ashamed of and nothing to hide. If you get to know someone like Clyde, you'll quickly see having a different learning style makes them no different from you or me. No matter how you learn or who you are, work hard, Never give up, and you will go far. Remember, the next time Clyde has trouble tying his shoelaces, help him instead of making mean and hurtful faces. And that's the end of our story, My Friend Clyde. Do you remember how I said the story behind My Friend Clyde was based on another true story? Well, this is the story of my friend Jacqueline Kendall, and I'm gonna to read to you some words she said. She says, hi, my name's Jacqueline Kendall. This important book was written by my brother to teach others that bullying is not okay. In elementary school, I was bullied relentlessly. Many of the kids made fun of me and would not include me in their circle of friends because I learned differently than they did. When 
I was being bullied, I always wondered, why was this happening to me? And why I had to be the one who was different. Not only did I feel upset and angry and lonely, but I blamed myself for how I was treated. It took a long time, but I finally accepted the person that I am today. I can't make people treat me nicely, but I can make sure that I am good to others. I will always have a learning disability, but that's not all that I am. I'm friendly, kind, and have learned to accept people for who they are. I have my close friends, lots of interests, and a great family. Together, my brother, his wife, and I want to make a difference and end bullying. We believe this can be done by introducing this topic to young children and encouraging appropriate dialogue. Please, everyone, help us make a difference. Have you ever felt different? Special or strange? <laughs> we all have, and it's important that we celebrate each other. So, thank you so much to Jacqueline Kendall and her brother and sister for helping my friend Clyde be shared here at Storytime for Kids. And tell our next story. Happy story time. Bye.